What is the difference between a PCR test and an antigen test? Let's face it, sometimes it can get a little bit confusing. And what about a false negative test and a false positive test? Welcome to A Matter of Fact, a production of the Pan American Health Organization for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean countries. I'm Nicola Barito. A Matter of Fact is designed to inform and educate you about the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which causes COVID-19, while we take an in-depth look at the benefits of vaccination. My guest is Dr. Lionel Gresh, virologist and laboratory specialist at the Pan American Health Organization and the World Health Organization. Dr. Gresh, thank you so much for taking the time out to chat with us today. Let's jump right into it. What is a PCR test? So there are currently two types of tests that are, are recommended to detect COVID-19. Uh, and both of those are available in the Eastern Caribbean countries. Uh, the first one is PCR, which actually belongs to a larger family of, of what we call nucleic acid amplification tests. This test detects uh, detects the genetic material of the virus. It is performed on uh, specimens that are collected from the upper respiratory tract, uh, in general, what we call a nasopharyngeal swab. And for those of you who are not familiar with the procedure, it involves inserting a, a very thin swab into the nose to collect material secretions from the nasopharynx, so basically the back of the nose, uh, where the virus actively divides, replicates in infected person. This test, PCR, takes usually about four hours to complete, and it requires specialized infrastructure, including a biosafety setup, a specific equipment, and of course, uh, trained personnel. It was the first test we had uh, uh, for COVID-19, and it's still today the reference method for the detection of the virus. Dr. Gresh, can you tell us now about an antigen test? The second category is antigen tests, and these uh, detect viral proteins, which are also called antigens, and that's where the name of the test uh, comes from. It uses the same sample type as uh, PCR, uh, but it is much faster. So the, the time to complete the procedure is around 20 to 30 min minutes, and it does not require uh, laboratory infrastructure, which makes it a very important tool to expand testing. It's a test that can easily be done after a, a appropriate training of personnel in health centers and in communities. Compared to PCR, there is sensitivity, uh, meaning the capacity of the test to detect people who are truly infected is a bit lower. Uh, however, because they're much easier to implement and because they're particularly good at detecting the most infectious cases, we have been recommending their use uh, for over a year now. What about false negative results and false positive results? Can you go a little bit deeper into that for us? So both PCR and antigen are uh, very specific tests, which means they uh, return very few false positive results. As for uh, false negatives, so testing negative when uh, we are um, infected, it is, uh, there is one point that is really important. So the first phase of infection, so when we get infected with the COVID-19 virus, we enter a phase uh, that is called the incubation phase. And that's a phase that lasts five to six days typically before we develop symptoms. Well, in the very uh, early days of that incubation period, in the first three, four days, a person might be infected and tests negative. And this is simply due to the fact that the amount of virus that is present in those samples I, I just mentioned is very low. So this is really important because if we are asymptomatic and we test negative, we might be infected and we might get a false sense of security out of that negative testing. So that's why it's important to remind everyone that testing is recommended for symptomatic individuals. And for those that are asymptomatic who and at, are at high risk of infection. For instance, those who have been in contact with a, a, a COVID-19 case and uh, health workers. Testing of asymptomatic individuals who are not at high risk is generally not recommended. 
So finally, I've mentioned the two tests that are uh, currently recommended and available in the Eastern Caribbean countries, PCR antigen testing, and I would like just to say a few words about the antibody tests. So these are tests that use blood instead of respiratory uh, swabs. And the key thing to uh, know about those is that they're not recommended for uh, detection. And this is simply because they cannot tell us if somebody is currently infected, just if they can tell us if we have antibodies that have been generated by a prior uh, virus infection. So they might be useful in the context of research and public health studies, but not for testing of individual cases. Remember that we can only control COVID-19 with your health. So choose to get vaccinated, wash your hands, keep your distance, wear your mask, and get tested if you have symptoms of COVID-19. Thank you so much, Dr. Grash. This has been A Matter of Fact, a production of the Pan American Health Organization for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean countries. I'm Nicola Barito. Get vaccinated. Thank you.